Hello, everyone. I've got a cute idea for kids coasters or anybody really who likes cereal, but maybe you can get your kids to use these since there's cereal in them. So I picked four different kinds of cereal and I chose a deep coaster mold just because the cereal is so thick. And I'm going to make the easiest coasters ever. So this cereal should look like it's sitting in milk when we're finished. I mixed up way too much resin, so if you're gonna do this, you only need four ounces. I mixed six ounces, so I did use the rest for something else. But I poured one ounce at the bottom of each of these coasters just to cover the bottom and tried. I tried to get it as even as I can. And then what I did was just put one cereal at a time and I mixed them right inside that deep coaster with my hands so they were all coated. And then I want to lay each piece down as flat as possible. Now I was taking some of those corn pops out because they were a little too thick and I didn't want super thick coasters at the end. So I kind of want them all even, but the corn pops were the thickest ones. So if you find some that are really fat, just take them out and replace them with a thinner one. So I'm just going to try to get an even layer of each of these cereals on the bottom. I want them all to lay flat, but I want them all to be popped out of the resin, if that makes sense. I want the backs of them exposed to the air, even though they're coated in resin. That way, when I pour the white on tomorrow, they will look like they're submerged in the milk. That's my theory anyway, so I'm hoping that works. And then the tops of these will be, the top of the coaster will be flat resin with the cereal in them. So let's see if this works. Here's more of a close-up view so you can see what I mean about the cereal sticking up out of the resin. I'm hoping my theory works with the milk. We'll see. See you tomorrow. <music> Here's five ounces of resin mixed up and I took a wooden popsicle stick and I stirred the pigment paste before I added it to the resin and I really just scraped all the white off of the stick and that's all that it took is what was left on the stick to turn this as white as it is. Now I used a blue stirring stick just so I could see the opacity of the white before I poured it on because I didn't want to be able to see through it. Now I know I sped this up because it took a little while. I didn't want to bore you, but I just poured it slowly and I stopped pouring as soon as it stopped covering the very highest cereal piece because I don't want them too thick because they're already going to be thick due to the cereal. So just pour until you just go over the last cereal piece.
Just so you know, I did have to babysit these about 30 minutes after I poured the white because that cereal, even though coated in resin, it was just bringing bubbles up like crazy. So I was popping bubbles for at least 30 minutes, which is why the white is a little discolored because I was using a torch. So just uh, definitely babysit them. So anytime I have extra resin, which I did in this project, I'll just add a color or a glitter or whatever and get a little mold until um, I use it all up because I don't want to waste it. So here's a little bookmark I made. So I'll just use my Cricut, put a little saying on it later, cover it with another coat of clear resin, put a tassel on it and stick it with the rest of them until they sell. This one I'll trim the edges and put some little magnets on the back and I give these away with orders. It's just a little cupcake. These will also be magnets. I live in southwest Florida so most people love the beach theme so I did a little shell and another starfish. And again I just give these away. And here's a little trinket tray or dish or jar. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's good for a couple rings or earrings or what have you. So here's me unmolding this one.